okay I'm on a on a roll <laughs> this is my fourth video of the day and um, this information comes from two meditations that I did recently uh, one was last just late last week it's actually more of a remote viewing um, and so I was able to obtain some insight and information regarding um, what's going on in Victoria um, with the actual government and, and what's happening and I hope this kind of gives you an insight as to what's happening it kind of confirms some things for me um, I'll try and remember exactly what it was that I saw there were bits and pieces and then I'll give you an update of what I saw just yesterday to kind of give you an update on what's happening in Victoria with your with the Premier Dan Andrews so this meditation was part of a bigger meditation where I wanted to see what was going on with Australia with all of these earthquakes it started off it's almost like an astral traveling it's very very deep meditation it's like I'm, I'm, I'm above Australia and I can see it all like a massive map and I'm scanning my hands across the border of um, Victoria and as I'm scanning my hands over the border of Victoria and New South Wales I feel this explosion underground in one particular section the funny thing is two days later or maybe the next day there was an earthquake exactly there recorded 10 kilometers under the ground and I feel that that's that's still they're still dismantling some of the tunnel systems under there um I tried to tap into New South Wales and Queensland there was some still some things in Queensland they need to deconstruct and take down and New South Wales as well I don't feel like they're going to shut down like Victoria I thought there was a risk it was like this half half risk they were seeing whether they needed to and this was all just to do with um, taking down these this tunnel system underneath the ground okay I feel like there's there's not that risk anymore of 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 New South Wales being in lockdown or Queensland being in, in lockdown I feel like and, and this is when I heard um, it's almost like a military worker telling me or a voice telling me um, we've only got a fifth, a fifth to go before we complete everything in Australia. Um, so it was, it was progress from the last time I checked. So they're really working very, very, very hard, okay? Now, back to Victoria. I asked about Dan Andrews and I wanted to see what state of mind he was in there was suggestion that there was the white hats in Australia and I wanted to check if that was true. The white hats being the alliance and the, the people that are working with Trump and like the good military um, kind of working all around the world trying to take down these um, corrupt people. If you don't already know, uh, my feeling is, I've said it in a previous prediction thing that um, Scott Morrison and Jacinta Ardern are both very very corrupt <laughs> like they're going down okay and Justin Trudeau as well really corrupt okay bad um, so much as you like them sorry um, and Dan Andrews I, I, I didn't know much about him so I just was trying to tap into him and my god okay Oh, this guy is, um, I saw a scene of him in a black robe when he was younger, um, not too much younger, but younger, young enough. And they were doing a ritual in a, a wooded area, a bushland area. I, I was following behind him almost as if I was floating behind him and I could see what he was doing this felt like it was part of a big satanic ritual I know this sounds 
conspiracy theory but now that we know a lot of these people are involved in this stuff this kind of didn't surprise me I saw in the middle of this forested area uh, a stone like a rock kind of altar and he was um this is gross he was um sacrificing a baby on there um i just want to say this little warning okay um to protect myself this is um just a meditation it's probably not true this is not slander <laughs> okay um but this is what i saw okay and um so this fellow there was a baby and they he cut yeah anyway it was sacrificed the baby was sacrificed and i feel like this um forest or whatever that they, they do a lot of these weird rituals like they'll torture people or satanic ritual abuse sort of occurs so very very heavily sits like into it and this isn't a recent thing it feels like he's he's been part of this for a long time because i felt he's heavily mk altered like this guy you say some key words to him and he just he's into he does whatever they tell him to do he's that he's literally a puppet okay um so then I go to the office wherever he is in Parliament House or wherever in Victoria and I'm in this room and the look on his face is just so um it's like he's hypnotized I I don't know how else to explain it like hypnotized no soul it's a drone like a, like a zombie like a they're just whispering in his ear and he's like yes 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 i'll do that you know um so these um okay so the other feeling i got was that he's part of like um he's been told since he was young about the new world order okay he's been told about the plans for a long time he was he's been told you're going to be part of this it, it's it's part of the abuse it's part of the mind control and I feel like it was um, something to do with the Fabian Society. It's like the, they're part of this thing, okay? Um, and um, so he has this big boost, this big ego boost from what he's doing. Like he really believes this is it. I'm part of it. I'm part of the New World Order agenda. I'm so awesome. This is amazing. I'm doing it. So he actually believes that. Now, here's the kicker. Here's the real weird thing. The guy in the office um, next to him is this big white guy. <laughs> big white guy. Um, looks like military. Like you would say this guy's in the military. He had like a crew cut, like gray hair, silver hair, really big and buff and probably in his 50s, but in a suit, right? And I couldn't hear his voice, but I knew he was American. And I'm like, who's this? Like, what's, what's going on here? And um, he's whispering these instructions to Dan. And he's just going along with it, right? And Dan's not even questioning. He's just like, yeah, yeah, we're going to do this. So Dan actually thinks that China is coming, you know, like, this is the new world order. We're doing communism. He actually believes it. That's why it's so believable. But it's been infiltrated by the white hats. This guy is actually, he's whispering in his ear, is actually military from good guys. So they've, they've sort of subverted this mind control thing and they've, they've gone in and go, right, you're going to do this. But they're under control, right? So they want, they're basically giving him a rope to hang himself. Okay? Um, they're totally under control. He's totally under control by the good guys. They want him to just fail. Nobody's doing anything about this across Australia because they've all been told 
you, you, you're not to do anything. Um, they want us to see how evil they are. They want us to get angry and rise up and see how evil they are and overthrow them because they can't do it for us, okay, because that's, what's that? Like someone else comes in and takes over our government. You, we have to ask for it, right? So it's all part of this. They know it's going to succeed, right? And also they have they told me that in one of the rallies there is uh, fake protesters that are going to infiltrate and um, like cause some trouble, but I think we can... Um, I'm not sure they got it under control like the white hats know about it they already knew about it um, and they're gonna they're gonna sort it out <laughs> is what I feel um, so then I felt so 5th of September is when I saw Australia going to protest but then I saw the 13th was like this turning point and it's a positive turning point, but then the 17th of September is like this massive positive change. And when I looked today, um, to see, or yesterday, to see what was happening, I feel like the shit's hitting the fan. I feel like this um, Dan Andrews guy is starting to get agitated and nervous and... Um, that whole twelve month thing is not going to happen, right? He's not going to lock Victoria down for twelve months. It's just not going to happen. Um, yeah, something. I'm just trying to remember what happened today. What I when I tapped in, yeah, I saw the meeting with the White House, and they were all talking amongst themselves, like how it's going and how what the next moves are and um, when this is going to end. They're sort of like discussing amongst themselves in this private room that's really like no one can access it they're sort of all talking about what the what the next moves are with this satanic disgusting fellow that's in charge of victoria <laughs> um and i have a feeling that they kind of have some good people to replace the prime minister and all the premiers that are corrupt that they've got them they've got them in mind and they're going to sort of help us see that they're good people like they're not corrupt they're not part of child trafficking or human trafficking or adrenochrome or child you know or pedophilia or anything like that right that these people are going to be really good but they're, they're going to come they're going to become more prominently known they've sort of vetted everyone and they kind of know all this. Um, if you want to know why Scott Morrison met with Trump a few weeks ago, this was why. Uh, he was told to, to shut his mouth and not do anything. And um, basically we have to protest and we have to sort of um, declare that we want to be free. And once a critical mass does that, then things will start happening, right? Um, and don't forget they have looking glass technology. So they already know when they do a certain move, how it's going to transpire, and etc. So that's also why they're doing things the way they're doing. If you told this to the average person on the street, they'll be like, yeah, right, okay, sure, good guys are in control. That really looks like the good guys are in control. They are, but you've got to understand they play... You know, it's like 5D chess. They're 10 steps ahead of everyone else. They know every kind of twist and turn. They know how psychology works. They know how humans behave and how they react. So every single move that they've made is, um, it's, it's premeditated. It's, it's, um, it's military strategy. That's what this is. Okay. I hope this uh, resonates with you and I hope it gives you some hope. I hope it gives you some hope. <laughs> I hope that uh, you're not too stressed out about your government, but at the same time, just enough stress to get up and tell them to f off. Okay, and just remember, this was just a, this was just my meditation. It's, it's not real. I'm saying that to protect myself from getting in trouble, saying bad stuff about people. All right, thank you. Bye.